screen are the notes from this last week. I hope you all got them. And it's been a little bit slower just because it's summertime. And um, if we do have a company that would like to demonstrate test results as we move forward, we invite you to do that. That would be awesome. But, um, you know, showing showing the output from GitHub, you know, like I told you, I found some new graphics, but um, we have this here in the insights piece of GitHub. And last week we uh, completed two items, 10 in the to do, one in draft, 17 in progress. So um, the, of the ones waiting for review, um, a couple have conflicts still. And I, again, I don't want to be merging someone else's PR if there's a conflict. So um, I believe Riff comes back on August 16th. And so we have a couple people. And then um, just some notes about P4D PDK and the follow-up tasks here. And so uh, one of them, uh, Shweta was going to follow up on uh, resource availability. So Shweta, you did give me the name. Um, could you remind me of her name again? Yeah, her name is Sosuta. S -S -S -T -H -A. Yeah. Right, right. So I added her to the GitHub repo and she's going to be investigating um, furthering P4DPK. Is that right, Shredda? Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, will she be joining this call or? Mm -hmm. She uh, will be joining this call. I uh, don't know if she can join this week. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, but I have forwarded her the invite and she said she will start joining these calls as well. Okay, uh, I right. guess, yeah, she'll just take a week or so to ramp up and hopefully she can join from next week. Okay, great, great. And then as we move down, we just have the the two long meeting notes where we go over everything we talked about and all the items in the queue. So that's from that week. And then this week, just going to pull a few things over to my screen. This is our community board or page. And I was hoping this week, um, I did see that the, um, where is it here? The smart switch platform test plan document is almost ready to be merged. Now this isn't necessarily in our repo, but we're monitoring it in the Sonic repo because this um, outlines some basic testing for the smart switch. And so down here at the very bottom, it looks like we're waiting for Prince George uh, to come back. And I believe he was out Monday, Tuesday. So I sent him a ping here. And so we have changes approved, but if uh, anyone wants to go look at the smart switch test plan document, it's 12701 in the Sonic repo. And then I did notice that, you know, since you're here, Jimmy, um, maybe you want to talk about the PRs you've been submitting. Um, for example, yeah. um, well, we can start with whichever one. Let's just go ahead to the pull request queue. So, for example, the BMV2 DP app HLD. Yeah, it's a high-level design document for uh, BME version 2 data plan app. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically, the, uh, this design describes the, um, the data plan app, uh, which is based on VPP framework and, uh, and, uh, and it's being a VPP plugin to implement a stateful packet processor. Uh, I mean, um, basically, uh, it uh, implements flow creation, deletion, update um, for P4 BMW version 2 flow table. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anyone, if you are interested, you can review this document. Yeah. yeah. And so it looks like you're waiting on a couple of checks or what's going on with this one? Let me look. Or uh, maybe um, right here. Some some checks are fields. OK, I, I, I will fix them. Yeah. Uh huh. Sure. And if you need any help, this Third is the chance. place. This is the place to ask. So. Looks like spell okay. check for sure. Okay. I'll fix this spell check, Philip. Yeah. 
Okay, all right. And um, it also looks like, it looks like these were all just pieces of the same, for example, um, add data plane app target. Is this all pieces of 606? Yeah, yeah based on this document, I have uh, submitted these three PRs for uh, mm -hmm. detailed implementation, yeah. Okay, all right. And so I think I looked at this one too, and... Uh, yeah, I have oh, fixed uh, complete. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, when when these are uh, when these are ready to go, ping us and we can go ahead and do a merge. Okay. Or do you want to wait for Riff or Prince? Yeah, and Riff will come back next week. Okay. Okay. I, I can right. let him check and uh, if any commands. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. And thanks for coming to the call. And um, I think we checked on a couple yesterday. I was checking with Marion on a couple. Uh, let me find those numbers here. So for example, I was, I was wondering um, like issue 575, that change optional to ternary, we had talked about that in the last meeting and it looked like it was going to require more work than we thought. Um, Maria, did you have a chance to look at this one? This one, no. No, okay. So what we had talked about was this section where it says define list match optional. We had talked about changing it to ternary and I attempted to go ahead and just change the word in the documentation, but then Riff mentioned this, this has downstream changes and table changes and so this would need to be worked on oh, so yeah right it, it will most likely be reflected in the apis so we need to be careful about that okay so do we do we want to close this one or just keep it open um i don't recall who actually raised it or suggested it um it was during a discussion during the meeting, it was verbal, and then then we said, "Oh, okay, let's open an issue to fix it." And why were we talking about that? I think it was because the expansion of entries was going to eat up memory in the tables or something. Um, I can find it, Marianne. I'll put put the discussion yeah. in there. Uh, Marianne, it wasn't okay? for the APL. Yeah, I think so. Let me. Yeah, Marianne, what is your take on on this? Do you believe we should we should take it to change the optional to ternary or not? I think we agreed to do it. Okay. <clears throat> but then we just because there mm -hmm. are downstream effects from just changing a word, um, and, and I'm not a coder, I'm not a dev. Um, then we had to basically look at Riff said it was just going to be a lot more work. Yeah. So optional or ternary are just the choices uh, to implement a list match in BMV two. Uh, if ternary is better, fine. Uh, I just want to be careful about actually translating the list type from the APIs mm -hmm. to whatever the underlying match type is in the BMB2. Uh, ternary is uh, just as good an option, uh, but we will, we may possibly break something. So that, that's why I think just renaming it. <laughs> Uh, won't be possible. I see. But is it uh, is it correct to say that uh, essentially optional is uh, a sort of ternary match with uh, uh, just uh, uh, a subset of the mask allowed, like uh, all zeros and all one are the only accepted masks? So maybe it's just control plane work. Yeah, that is correct. Okay. So, so I mean, for the from data path perspective, this is actually ternary match. It's actually the job of the control plane to make sure that only <laughs> these two masks are allowed. Uh, well, the mask but, is yeah, not yeah. exposed. The mask isn't exposed. Uh, what's exposed is a list type, but then we need to translate it to a value in the mask, and that's where the yeah. issue is.
Okay, so you guys don't have a, any preference if it should be basically optional versus ternary. Just the only stuff is if it's optional that we don't need to change anything. But ternary mm -hmm. will be more specific. Is it the case? Sorry, I'm just looking through the old notes here. We discussed the logic of Mega Man. Kumar suggested it be kept as optional. Vincent said the tag and the tag masks are the only ternary. And the rest are just lists. Um, the team concluded it would simplify the logic and agreed it was the best option. Okay. Hmm. Well, I guess we can keep it open. Um, for now. We also had, um, so this one's still a question for me anyway, in my mind, um, it's 436 and it was about, um, if you guys remember, um, Camille opened this one and it's about uh, five objects being inserted um, in, into the Psi object type and it should just be one. And this was by design apparently and so, but I believe this is causing confusion or taking up space. Um, so the generated code loops several app, they're duplicated. So, so basically, um, do we have time to work on this one or um, does this need to be fixed? So I have a question about this comment. So is it is it five times because basically it's actually simulating that we have five, five actual stages. groups or this mm -hmm. is... Because we still That's want to have right. five stages, right? So, uh, so yeah. the question is like, if we remove it, doesn't it mean that there will be one stage, but we actually want to have five stages. So no, should... it's it's mm -hmm. basically again how it's modeled in uh, uh, BMV two because it doesn't actually allow you to um, put five stages. Uh, yeah, it's it's not as straightforward to apply the same table. Uh, and uh, traverse over all of them. So uh, we had to apply slightly different logic, but there is uh, a bug in there that uh, it, uh, when you actually, again, translate uh, Sai rule into underlying implementation, it just mm -hmm. creates uh, op an object times five. Uh, I see, so I see, I see. And and Camille thinks there should be only one. That's also true. But mm -hmm. We didn't we didn't fix it since then. Mm -hmm. So then Riff had this large comment and said, "I'll I'll let Marianne and Camille look." Um, so agree, one entry should be inserted, one entry added. Can we associate an ACL group with a stage? Um, Christina, mm -hmm. yeah. I would suggest maybe to have a dedicated meeting on those two issues with Riff when he will be back and Camille as well. And uh, let's uh, let's all review it and uh, at least put mm -hmm. a suggestion for a fix in there. And then as soon as we have uh, time for that, we will uh, we'll fix it. For now, I, mm -hmm. I don't know if we even agree on what the fix should be. Okay, that sounds good. Thanks, Marian. It's just been sitting there for so long. I thought I'd check back on it. And um, how about? And while we're talking, if anyone has Q and A or one a PR you want to look at, please let me know. Um, so how about this one? Renaming um, PPS to bandwidth to reflect the bandwidth limitation. I think. Waiting on this one. Oh, I think this pull request can be updated. It just uh -huh. has conflicts because it's uh, uh, pulled. Uh, yeah. I didn't look into it because as far as I know, it's not, this attribute was not needed yet. So okay. uh, it's unused for now. Um, and okay. hence it, ha it has a lower priority. But okay. uh, the underlying fix to actually make it mergeable is already in dash. So just need to resolve the conflict. 
Yeah, so so Marian, so in Dash it is using bandwidth, right? As a limit. Yeah. Not VPS, yeah. yeah. That's yeah right. It's just uh, the wrong name that we mm -hmm. put initially. Yeah. yeah, I think I think we should we should rename it yeah, for the consistency. Okay. And basically, the reason I'm not doing that, if I will rename it in Dash, I will need to also update site headers, and mm -hmm. we try to keep it to a minimum for now, just to have like the first more or less stable version of site headers. Mm -hmm. Then we can yeah. do another round of updates. But at some point, we will rename it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's why it's pending. Yeah. So keep it pending for now. Yeah. And some additional comments as as we are talking about the the fields, right? Uh, mm -hmm. There was some meeting that happened early this week, like separate internal meeting where we were discussing to adding region ID field to the main, I think, device object in HLD potentially also Psi, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. just for the reason that the card is in specific region as a region ID, and some internal implementations. Uh, may rely on for some optimization to having the region ID be available much earlier in the process than than the ENI creation. So I'm not quite sure, uh, Krista, if um, that hasn't that quite meeting, made it that hasn't quite made, made it yet. to the yeah. community quite yet. I think we need to close on it and then Riff would create the Psi APIs. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. again, uh, that one more um, in a little bit of a holding pattern. I have asked for a backup person um, from the Sonic team, but they Prince was uh, busy and had other things going on, and they weren't able to provide one. Yeah, so this but, will this will most likely make us the discussion for the entire mm -hmm. com community, right? Mm -hmm. To to potentially add the region ID on the high device object level, uh, mm -hmm. in addition to the scope of the ENI. Uh, to kind of allow for some uh, internal optimization where the device is being initially set up because the region doesn't change actually, and it can be later used for some optimizations potentially. But we can, I mean, once once this basically gets sorted out with Rift, then we yeah. will basically propose with the community. Yeah. 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 Um, great. And then this is the last one I had on my list. This one's in the Open Compute Project Sci, and um, so Nvidia opened this one. I'm wondering if Rapesh is on the call, but um, it looks like it should be this and not that. And so was this person, I wonder, from Nvidia, like Sasha or Marian, well, looking for someone to, to help? or? Uh, issue. Yeah, so this is uh, an API that was submitted by Riff. So we are looking for either Genoa or Riff to uh, uh, to push an update because. Um, okay, well, since we have Junwa on the phone, maybe we could ask him. Jimmy? Uh, hey, Jimmy. If... Hi. Hi. Yeah, just... Hey. Could we ask you about this one here? It was opened um, by um, someone at NVIDIA and- oh, I'm talking, uh, I'm sorry, I, I'm talking about a different person. At least that's the contact point that uh, Riff uh, left me for all the P4A issues. It's uh, Janwa. I th um, think that's- Junhua, who's on the phone yeah, yeah. here. Uh, yeah, I, I'm Junhua, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I, it, it's spelled different. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, basically, th there is uh, an, uh, there are new object types, which is uh, HA set, HA scope, and they have attributes that reference one another. And the attribute types uh, for those references, like uh, in this set ID, has to be object ID with the uh, set ID object type. And uh, for some reason, uh, the autogen code uh, missed that one and just put a regular scalar. Um, in my opinion, I think uh, we, we do not have a HA set table in, in people. Um, and uh, um, where are we deriving the set ID from then?
Mm, okay, maybe I I need to check the P four table, P four H table, and uh, you need to confirm it with 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 Riff. Yeah, I'm not very very sure. Okay, let me okay. take a look at all of the types. We have put the HA already there. So we have HA set. There is the object type. I'm, um, I'll send the link here in the chat. It is part of SI API. Here is your object type. So we should refer to that one. Christina, I, I put yeah, the link. Sorry. Yeah, got it. I was just typing it here real quick. Uh -huh. <clears throat> This is what the HA set ID attribute is referring to. Yep. And you want Riff to look at this and Jimmy? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, look, looks, yeah, the, the HA set ID. I, I checked the affair HA.p4. Yeah, it. Uh, has a uh, annotation for it. It should be a set object type. So, yeah, maybe we need to update. Update yeah, it. Yeah, seems like a bug for some reason. It was uh, this annotation wasn't picked up. I don't know why. Yeah. Okay. I I, I will check it and uh, and fix it. Yeah. Thank you, Jimmy. Um, I'll I'll add you. Oh, I can't because this isn't my repo. Yeah, Jimmy, this isn't my repo. So mm. I'll put it in the chat window for can, you. Can you clone the issue into the dash repo? Is there such a thing? Me? Um, just kidding. If someone could show me how, I could try. Um, oh, I'm just asking. I don't know if it's impossible. I don't know. Yeah, it, it, yeah it's an issue. So yeah, I will check it and. Uh, by PR to, to fix it, yeah. Okay, thanks. Hey, Chris, do you know if that's possible to clone an issue into the Dash repo from somewhere else? To clone the issue? Mm hmm Just uh, out of curiosity. I've not heard of that. Okay, All Doesn't right. mean it yeah. doesn't exist. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I think it needs to be reopened, separated in different repo. Yeah, he's gonna um, open the PR to fix it. Thank you, Jimmy, appreciate that. Um, so, so that's all I had for today. Do you guys have anything that you would like to cover? Um, and again, these these four here are waiting for review, so we we need people to come back to work and things like that. Um, okay, and then I'll do a quick intro. We just had uh, John New from F Five, and we had Jimmy. Thank you for coming, Jimmy, and everybody knows Christian, so I don't have to introduce him. So. Um, Thanks for coming, John. And if you have a delegate you want to um, hand the meeting off to, just let us know. We 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 talk about behavioral models specifically on every other Thursday. So I'm also going to try to start going to the P4 meetings from Andy on um, Mondays at 8 a.m. So maybe I can get some insight there. But um, that's all I have for today. So thank you, everyone. I can give you a half hour back. And I appreciate the updates on all of the PRs. OK, thanks for coming. I'll end the thanks. call. Appreciate bye -bye. it. OK, thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Jimmy.